What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of House Flipper 2. Today, and I quote, you will be doing your first proper house flip, winky face. All right, Tom, you got me. You're, you're pulling me back in. We're back at it again with Tom. Oh. Um. Okay. What's what's going on? I don't understand why we are, uh, why this is our first proper house flip, but thanks. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess. I don't know what's... Oh my gosh, guys. Alright, uh... I guess we're probably just selling everything is my assumption. My gosh, this is a house flip? Who would even... I would even start with this house. I'd say no. That's what I'd say. I'd say no. My idea, though, is take it one step at a time. Let's let's sell everything first, and then we'll work on um, as doing whatever is after that. I don't know. What's your next option? All right, most of the stuff that needs to be sold is sold, I think. But we will have to go inside and sell more, of course. Oh, up top. I don't see anything else to sell. Oh. Boom. Cleaned up the house. Let's go. All right. That's done. Now then. Now it's just kind of sweeping everything up, I guess. Just randomly hit that spray bottle, you know. Good, good. We miss one piece of dirt. That's so frustrating. Walk around this house quick. There it was. Cool. All right. That's done. Now then just trash on the side. I saw it back here. Boom, trash done, outside, gorgeous. In the trash can, love it. All right, let's go in. All right, well, I guess they had a little bit of trash in here, eh? Okay. No big deal, no big deal, you know, just a little cleanup. All right, now then let's check out what we need to sell here. Everything. Gotcha. I don't disagree with you. I would do the same, especially looking at how this house looks. You don't know what could be underneath. I'd, I'd try and clear it out as well. We're missing one item. Oh. Cool. All right. Let's start working on some cleaning, man. Where's the rest of the stains? I gotta be honest, don't really see them at this. Oh, ceilings, dumb Josh. Done, cool, windows quick. I could have done this one better. I'm like the fastest window cleaner in the area, but this was not very fast. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's how fast I can be. Not not a good example of how fast it can be there. All right. All right. Down. I hate how the squeegee kind of goes, but it feels like a like an N64 Mario Kart game or an N64 racing game. Maybe not maybe not Mario Kart. But like I kind of feel like I'm on I don't know. 
like rollers or something. Done. Oh, what happened in here? I feel like cleaning should always be the last thing I do, but for some reason I never follow my own rules because why the heck would I follow my own rules? Like, Josh, last thing you should do is clean because you can't see what's actually wrong with the room if you don't. And then I never follow that rule. And then here I am. Like just picking up all this random crap and hoping it comes out good. Good. All right. Anyways, done with that. Let's uh, let's sell everything in here that needs to be sold. Boom. Empty house. Empty house. That's it. Dang. There it is, now proper cleaning. It should give me some sort of clean grenade. Like, oh, I don't know what I missed. Hit it with the clean grenade, you know? Well, I didn't miss anything this time. I feel like this game's a little bit more forgiving if you miss stuff, so that's nice. I hate whenever, I hate the last game where you'd like miss just a little squeegee and it would take forever to find it and you'd have to find it prior to it being finished. Now this is a little bit more forgiving. It's like if you get 90% instead of 95, I know there was some forgiveness, but I felt like there wasn't much. All right, cool. Look at that. All right, let's just do this last part up here. Cool. Oh, just needs a little vacuum in. Not big deal. Good and clean. Nice. All right. All done with that. We'll scrub a dub over here. What's that? Just buy mode? Cool. All right. Cool. Wow, we are in a hot spot at this point. Now it's all about just decorating. Let's do it. Last episode, I ruined that guy's house because I wasn't paying attention to where the glowing was. And I just shoved it everywhere. That was a big oops, I gotta be honest. This time I'm not gonna make that mistake. Not that I'm putting this on correctly anyways, I'm kind of just clicking, but I won't go over in areas on this one. Cool. All right, awesome, that's that tile. Give me the other tile quick. Well, we have all this random stuff that I have to buy. How are we gonna do this? I don't know. I don't know how high I should go up with this. I 
I will have to move this stuff around, I guess. Well, that's a corner cabinet, so it belongs. Well, let me get the other cabinets first. Isn't there one more corner cabinet? There's got to be, right? That's a perfect fit. Let's go. All right, good. We're, we're heading in the right direction. All right, all right, all right, all right. Josh, you are so good at this game. Thank you, everyone. All right, now then. I think last time it went here. I think I'll put it over. I don't know. I don't know where this is going yet. I guess above the fridge, probably, right? Flush. Bring it on down. I kind of thought this was going to go above the oven, to be honest. Like a, uh, like an oven with uh, one of those fan things, but I guess not. Wait, you need a stove. Oh. oh, it's not... That's interesting. Where would you shut this door? I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff, I guess. Not yet, at least. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. I like that. I want those two switched. Wait, there's a sink? Oh, nice. I didn't even see that little spot I had left. Boom. KitchenAid. Cool. Uh, couch action. Horrible, horrible spot. I got to figure that one out. Also, still that's the rest of the time. Ah, uh, hmm. Towel. I guess I need a towel rack. I feel like they require so much stuff in this small space. I want to say it's a small house, just a lot of stuff for the small space. Let's switch it up. Better idea. Better idea. Got it. Work desk over here, maybe. No, oh, because then... So, you should walk through... I guess you could just leave that here. I don't like that spot, but... Feels kind of in the feels kind of kitty cornered here, but I don't think I don't think there's enough space to make it more feng shuiable. I just don't want you walking directly into the couch as you walk in, so like I don't want it up here. So I guess you could leave it there. You're just gonna have to have good eyesight. Yeah, I hope you have good eyesight. I don't know what else to do with you. Where are these? I guess you could put it here. I'm kind of interested in what like the perfect way is. I'm sure someone made it the perfect way. Because the way they give you these items, like there's a intended way to do this. I just don't know what it is. Wait, what up with all the plants? I don't even have a, there, he doesn't even ask for a pot. He just says plant heads. Like this doesn't, is there not a pot somewhere? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, there's a plant pot. I'm stupid. I literally was just... Like, that's crazy to think that you're going to give me plants without a plant pot. 
That's one of the required items. I guess you could go off the, the Eden's path and do it on your own if you want to. Is it bigger than a bread box? The ultimate question, 20 questions. They never gave me a place to put this towel, by the way. So I don't know what to do with this towel. Did they? No. All right, then I'll find a towel rack, I guess. Room's done. Cool. Next room. going be a tight bedroom. Oh, no, not really. Are we going to paint these walls? Oh, yeah. Here's the paint. Just weird that the paint always is... I'm going to say it's weird that the paint isn't like the first thing on the list and it's like for some reason just kind of brushed off at the bottom, but not a big deal. Just confused on why they do that. Like, if I didn't scroll up, I wouldn't have seen the paint. Which I'm sure there's something in that other room that I missed now that I say it out loud, but... Oh, look at all that. You got a lot done with just a little bit of paint, eh? I already set borders. I have to set them again? I'm assuming I finished all the paint on that wall, at least. Oh, you want me to paint that wall, too? Ah. Yes, sir. Shut the door. Thank you. Thanking myself, as you guys know. Whatever you do, don't follow my painting habits. This is not how you paint a house. You will be very streaky, I promise you. I'm really just checking boxes at this point. I won't lie, every time I've ever painted my house, I've hired someone I would never paint my house on my own, I don't think. Not these days, I don't think I would ever paint my house on my own. Boom, finished. Woo! All that. Wait, wait, what else needs to be painted? Oh, I sold the paint or. I was going to say, hopefully I still have enough paint on that paintbrush because I already sold the paint. Cool. All right, let's see what else we need to buy here. Wardrobe, fine. Little nightstand, cool. 
Big old mirror, yes sir. Little world map that you really like for some reason. It was a cool world map to be honest, but a little candle, bedside plant, a couple plants for your bedside plant. Little pot action, little nightside lamp. This is a, oh, I don't know what that was. I thought it was like a, oh, fuck, cool. All right, done with this room. This room done? This room's done too, cool. All right, what do you need? Talk to me. Jeez, all of this? Once again, luckily doing these surfaces aren't bad at all. They make the entire surface process easy as can be, which I greatly appreciate. The only place I need to be nervous is getting close to corners. But they make it pretty easy not to mess up. Ooh, messed up. Well, I will just go over like that just so it doesn't look like I messed up. Just a little extra. Cool. Yeah, they won't even notice. Um, cool. It's one of those fancy floating sinks. That's kind of cool. Ooh, hold up. Fancy floating sink on the other wall for sure. Ooh, that's a really high mirror. Hold up. Move fancy floating sink down a little bit. Love it. Done. I'm out. Done. Love it. Uh, buy a few things. Oh. Oh, cool. Cool. I'll buy them. Let's do it. Love it. All right, now what's supposed to go up here? 22 items? Oh, just a lot of plants, what the? Hey, if you wanna just make me buy you a bunch of plants, I will. That makes it a whole lot easier for me. Two of these, my fault, I should have just bought two. All right, six of these, yes sir. One, two, three, four, Sorry guys, they won't be entertainingly placed in this one. I'm just gonna place as many as I can. I don't even know how many of these I was supposed to buy. One more plant. Let's go. Turn it in, baby. First ever flip. First ever flip. I just poured coffee on myself trying to take a sip of the coffee. And it's cold. I'm upset. I've been, I gotta be honest, I'm on vacation. I've been wearing the same shirt for like a week now, so. Hello there. It is How what it is. Like your first full house flip? Let's go! It was awesome! So you actually enjoy it. That's great. Pinnacle needs a talented house renovator. So when the town council members finally come to their senses, we have someone to fix that poor old driftwood house. But in the meantime, I have an idea for how you can practice your house flipping skills. There's a site where you can look for rundown houses. 
Just Ooh. buy them, do your magic, and put them on sale. I'm sure that with your work quality, you'll find buyers in no time. You did so well with the last house that I managed to sell it for way more than I expected. So, I want to share some of the profit with you. It should be enough for you to buy your own house to flip. If you want to, of course. Take care and good luck with your career. Yo, that's awesome. First off, I think I also have some. So do that. And then... What's it? Heavy lifting? You, you can carry more tiles or wallpaper? Yeah. Cool. I can actually buy my first house. Assembly. Picture frame? Wait, what am I doing? Whoa. Uh, boxes and assemble it? Oh, a cute little game, eh? Oh, that was adorable. Oh, picture frames are cheaper? That's awesome. Oh, 2% discount? All right, that's not awesome. Why would I even waste my time? Thank you everyone so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you guys enjoy... Oh. One second. Hello there. How did you like your first full house flip? Oh. Because I love the outcome. Same as my client. You clearly have a future in the house flipping business. And that's why I want to tell you about something. There's a site where you can look for rundown houses. Just buy them, do your magic, and put them on sale. Thank you. I'm sure that with your I just listen to this. You'll find buyers in no time. You did so well with the last house that I managed to sell it for way more than I expected. So, I want to share some of the profit with you. It should be enough for you to buy your own house to flip. If you want to, of course. Take care and good luck with your career. Thanks. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. I guess next episode will be our first purchased home. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.